Launched in 2010 for the North American Hyundai Sonata YF and Kia Optima TF, the 2.4-litre Theta 2 four-cylinder, best known by its G4KJ engine code, was Hyundai Kia's first mid-size motor with direct injection GDI capability. Built on an all-aluminum architecture and shared across dozens of Hyundai and Kia models, it promised strong power, lightweight and modern efficiency. Yet owners soon discovered that certain design compromises led to specific weak points. In today's breakdown, we'll cover the engine's core design, key evolutions, typical failure modes and realistic service life so you can judge whether the 2.4 Theta is a good enough or a ticking time bomb. The open deck aluminum block uses cast iron cylinder liners, a 97mm stroke forged steel crank and 88mm pistons to reach 2359 cubic centimetres. Balancer shafts tame vibration, while piston cooling oil jets added during mid-cycle updates reduce skirt temperatures. Despite improvements, connecting rod bearings remain undersized. Oil starvation or poor quality lubricant can spin a bearing and seize the crank, especially in all-wheel drive models or cars run on extended drain intervals. An alloy DOHC head carries four valves per cylinder activated by shimless bucket lifters. No hydraulic lash compensation means clearance checks every 60,000 miles. Early Theta engines used intake side CVVT only. Later, Theta 2 motors gained dual CVVT and 2015 plus versions add an electrically driven eCVVT phaser on the intake cam. Unfortunately, the eCVVT unit's internal brush set and oil seal design often fail within the first 50 to 60,000 miles, triggering cold start rattle and check engine lights. Most 2.4 Theta units employ multi-point injection, but GDI variants spray fuel directly into the chamber using a cam-driven high-pressure pump mounted on the exhaust cam's four-lobe extension. Direct injection boosts power, yet promotes heavy intake valve carbon because fuel no longer washes deposits from the ports. A routine walnut shell blast every 40 to 50,000 miles keeps airflow and mileage healthy. VIS, variable intake system, switches runner length, while VCM, variable charge motion, tumbles air at low RPM for improved torque. Both rely on plastic flaps that can stick from carbon buildup. A shredded VIS actuator often throws an issue code and saps mid-range punch until cleaned or replaced. Across the Theta family, rod bearing clearances are tight and oil passages are narrow. Neglected oil changes or low quality 5W20 oil shears quickly starving the bearings. Updated ceramic coated shells 2011 to 2014 actually showed shorter life. Some failed in under 50,000 miles. Vigilant 5,000 miles synthetic changes and an upgraded high flow oil filter are the best defense. The electric intake phaser introduced in 2015 lets the ECU control cam timing at idle for lower emissions, but early units leaked oil into the motor housing or wore out carbon brushes. Symptoms include rough idle, P011 or P044 form codes, and metallic ticking. Replacement with the revised phaser post-2016 build resolves the issue. Although piston cooling jets helped curb cylinder scoring, Clogged oil control rings can cause quart per 1,000 mile consumption by 80 to 100,000 miles. A ring soak or top end overhaul is often required. Catalytic converter grit induced scoring is possible but rarer than on earlier Hyundai engines. Intake valve carbon on GDI units requires periodic blasting. Cheap exhaust manifold gaskets and AC compressor bearings fail prematurely. A wiring harness near the throttle body rubs through its loom, causing intermittent misfire or sensor codes. The 2.4 Theta 2 GDI offers class-leading power for its size and a lightweight all-alloy build, but it demands disciplined maintenance. 
Keep oil fresh, service the intake every 50,000 miles, and address phaser or VIS faults early. And the engine can reward you with years of smooth driving. Neglect those basics, and bearing failures, oil consumption, and carbon clogging may turn savings into expensive lessons. Choose wisely, service often, and the G4KJ can be a dependable partner rather than a budget breaker.